Hello, cake friends. So today I want to talk to you about putting out small offers. Hi, cake friend, and welcome to the Home Bakers Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let's grow together. It's also so important to start putting out those small offers. Sometimes we leave money on the table simply because we are not getting those cake orders. But what about if you could have a consistent stream of revenue by putting out small offers. So what am I talking to you about? What are these, you know, small offers? Small offers are things like sugar cookies, macarons, um, biscuits. <laughs> um, yeah, anything that comes in a small package, you know, small baked goods, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about today. So how can you make an income from that? One of the favorite places for bakers to make income from small offers is farmers markets, expos, or fun fairs, you know, whatever it might be, where, wherever it might be where there are a lot of people going around, maybe even in, in a shopping mall where you can just have a pop-up, you know, shop. But then putting out small offers does not mean that you have to actually go out of the house. You can put out small offers in all those different ways that I just mentioned to you, but you can also put out small offers by just packaging these orders pre-planning and then marketing to your audience and taking in a deposit before you actually bake them, right? If you do it once, you'd obviously have pictures to promote it the next time. But if you're doing it for the first time, then you want to really plan for it, right? Maybe you can just let them know with a lovely poster that you created, letting them know that, hey, I'm, you know, thinking about putting this out, who's interested to pre-order. And then you could put that on your social media, see who's gonna book with you. With the bookings, the deposit that you collect from the bookings, you can actually package these and deliver them on the day that you've promised to your clients. But don't leave money on the table by sitting and waiting for cake orders. What you can do right now, if you are struggling to get clients, if you are struggling to get cake orders, is putting out pretty, very pretty you know small orders and this could be for valentine's day or it could just be any random pretty really well packaged small orders that you could um you know sell at church that you could uh sell at your kids sports events or that you could even sell at um workplaces where your colleagues are working and you could collect a deposit beforehand and you know deliver and pick the rest of your cash when you deliver, but then think about creative ways that you can actually, you know, package small cake orders and sell them to your audience. And it just really requires a little bit of thinking. And I know those quiet moments in your day are really good times where you can just sit and reflect on how exactly you could work out that strategy. I mean, it's all about just sitting and thinking, apply your mind, apply your mind, again, apply your mind and think about how it is that you can grow your cake business, but never sit and wait for a cake order. That is it from me for today. Take care of yourselves. Bye.